In this field of view, we see primarily red blood cells. You can tell the red blood cells because they are the most plentiful. They are biconcave in shape, and you can actually see little circles. They look like hollow circles. They're not, but those hollow circles that kind of fill up the field are red blood cells or erythrocytes. You're, you can also see three white blood cells that have been stained purple. The uh, white blood cells nuclei are the most prominent. The pointer is indicating a neutrophil. You can see three or perhaps four lobes to the nucleus. Neutrophil. Here is another neutrophil. This is a lymphocyte, a nice round spherical or um, circular nucleus, very little cytoplasm apparent. This is an eosinophil distinguished by its two large lobed nuclei, let me say that again, two lobed nuclei um, and a reddish granular cytoplasm. Here's another eosinophil with a bunch of other uh, neutrophils. Here's another eosinophil, two lobed nucleus. Here's another neutrophil. And yet another eosinophil. This is a monocyte, much larger than the red blood cells around it, a nice um, large nucleus but lots of cytoplasm around the outside and the nucleus looks kind of flattish on this one and sometimes it's kicked in on the side. At the very tip of the pointer is a very tiny, almost uh, not visible, thrombocyte or platelet. Anytime you see very tiny dark staining um, fragments of cells in the smear, those would be platelets or thrombocytes. This is sickle cell anemia. At the tip of the pointer and scattered throughout the smear, you see atypical red blood cells. This is a sickle cell anemia slide. You can also see too many um, white blood cells, but on this particular one, we're focusing on the shape of the red blood cell. So sickle cell anemia. Another view of sickle cell anemia. You can see at least two or more, actually quite a few more, abnormally shaped red blood cells. You can also see an abnormally high number of white blood cells here. But first, when you see an abnormally high number of white blood cells, focus on the red blood cells then you'll know if it's sickle cell anemia or a leukemia. Here we see normal red blood cells and too many white blood cells, way more than you would expect in the field of view and uh, immature cells at that. So this would be a leukemia. Anywhere we go there are too many white blood cells in the field of view. Anything more than four would be too many.